Hi, welcome to another video from the Cooltech channel. I want to remind you to subscribe to our channel and press the like button. Also, please let us know what you think of our channel in the comment section below. Today I will show you a cool product we got from Banggood site. Camera module with protective case for the Raspberry Pi Zero. I will use this camera module with the Motion Eye operating system, which allows us to stream video from the Raspberry over the network and also record video using motion detection. If you want to learn how to set up and use the Motion Eye OS, please subscribe as I will make a video about it later. So let's see what we have in the box. This is 3D printed case. Good quality. Some screws. This is the bottom part of the case. Also 3D printed. Let's see, we have a screwdriver. This is the light module for the illumination. We'll see how it works. One and another one. We have two of these light modules. Let's see nothing else in the box let's put it aside and now i guess this is the camera itself let's see what we have until now okay and this is the camera and we have inside the flat cable And this is the camera. Let's open it up. Okay, it comes with a flat cable for Raspberry Pi 3, 2, and 4. And you need to replace it with this one if you want to use the Raspberry Pi Zero. It has cover for the lens. Okay. So this is what we got. Now let's start to assemble it. What I have here, Raspberry Pi Zero WH with the headers and the Wi-Fi version. This is what I will use. Okay, now that we got everything out of the box, let's start assembling our light modules to the camera module. So first of all, let's disconnect this ribbon cable so it won't interfere us. And we need to change it anyway. Put it aside. Now we need to attach these light modules to the camera itself, like this. Oh, on the bottom, I think. Doesn't look like it matters. In any way, we won't short anything. Okay. By the way, there's no instructions in the box, so you just need to work it out yourself. You got all the needed screws. Let's see, we got four screws and four nuts for each light. So take it, put the back aside. Let's 
one. This is the second one. And I also got this screwdriver, which I will use. Why not? So just try to follow me. We got four screws for each side, but we need only two. It's interesting. Like this. And the nut should come from the back. See, one is ready. Okay, let's connect the second one on this side. Okay. are very very small so it's quite difficult I'm trying to do it so you will see but it's not so easy by the way don't remove the camera camera cover while you're assembling the light modules so you don't mess up the camera lens okay. now let's tighten the screws Okay, the camera is ready with the light modules. By the way, they are here. This, I think it's the light intensity sensors. And this is the infrared lights, but we will see how it works later. Now, Let's start assembling the case. By the way, let's connect the ribbon cable. Should go like this. And secure it inside. Okay. And the other side should go into the camera connector on your Raspberry, like this. We will do it in a second after we'll see how it goes in the case. So let's see, this is the front cover. As you can see in the case, there are openings for the HDMI port and the USB. So this should go like this. Yeah, with the headers down. And also in the bottom cover you have this opening for the GPIO pins. I guess we will have to break it because my Raspberry has the GPIO pins. This one. Okay, let's see. 
so this should go like this okay yeah we need to break it also you have here this opening which it goes right above the CPU of the Raspberry so if you have a heatsink you also can break this and your heatsink will stick so let's open up this cover just push it inside to break no problems like this see now my GPIO pins will stick from the Raspberry like this and I can use them to connect anything to the Raspberry still in the case. Let's see, I have this bag of screws for the case. Okay. So I have these small screws. Let the camera focus. Yeah, this should hold the raspberry into place. Like this. And also, I think the washers are for it. I have small washers also. I think we better connect the camera first. Because otherwise I won't have access to the camera connector. Because it's on the other side. So let's open up the screws. And let's insert the connector. Like this. Just something I want to make sure that when you connect the camera connector, the silver pins should be in the bottom. When it's the upside of your raspberry, you should see this black protection tape or whatever. Okay, so now it's secured inside the raspberry. Let's get it into the case with the screws and washers. Okay, now it's secure to the bottom of the case with the four screws. These ones, one, two, three, four with the washers. Okay, now let's cover with the middle part. Should go like this, and we need to get the camera up through this and like this. Okay, no, sorry, like this. Okay, you can see the HDMI port and the USB ports are aligned with the case. Now, let's see how we secure it. Okay, now here on the upper side of the case, we have these four holes which matches. Okay, now I see these four screws <laughs> I should be used if you're using these light modules without this case. Because if you're using this case, the camera and the light module should be secured to the this part of the case. So I need to remove these screws. 
okay this is what happens when you don't have instructions you need to understand it yourself and now i under also understand why i have these four screws these ones this is to secure the camera to the upper side of the case okay so we need to remove these screws before that we got with the light modules i don't need them in this case okay okay we don't need all of this let's see so this goes like this okay as i was uh, trying to figure out how to assemble the camera i noticed that there is there are two screws this and this one which holds the camera that were a bit too long so that they were sticking from this side and when i try to mount it to the front panel on these screws I couldn't mount it because these screws were too long and they were sticking so what I had to do is to get some washers you see to put them on this side of these two screws so they won't stick from this side now they're flush and now I can mount the, ca the camera to the front cover like this okay you see what the issue is as you can see on this side there is the camera connector and the hole for the screw which is interfering with it so i think we need to cut it a little bit this one see this outer ring we need to cut it like this a little bit. Let's try. Let's shave it a little bit. to do the same on the other side so the camera will sit flash flash let's see now okay yeah now it's much better okay so now we need to answer these light modules and you can see the light sensor is covered with some kind of rubber sleeve you need to be careful when inserting it into its hole just try to gently push it till it come out on the other side like this yes now it sits nice inside Let's cover the camera. Okay. The other side. Like this. Yeah. Okay. See? Sitting nice. Okay. 
Now let's secure it with the screws. Last one. Okay, now everything is secured. Let's see, now we need to connect the camera cable. I think it was better to do it when it was outside, but I already did it, so I have no choice. Like this. And cable should go inside like this and close the connector. Careful. Okay. Now we need to insert the SD card because otherwise we won't have access to it. I will use this SD card which I already flashed with the motion iOS image. Okay, now let's put everything together. Okay, try to keep the flat cable inside so it won't bend too much, break or anything. like this and we have these long screws which we got in the bag go from this side all the way through to here and here we have place for the other end and also we got this allen key which for this allen screws okay put another one Okay, now we got everything together, take off the cover, like this, looks nice and tidy, all the ports accessible, GPIO pins also accessible, you can use them, hmm. I wish there was some kind of way to mount it ever anywhere, but okay, figure something out. So now let's connect the power and let it boot and see what we can see with this camera and we will see also how it behaves in low lighting environment. Okay, now that we finished setting up everything, assembling and of course connecting everything, I want to show you how it looks when you connect with the camera to your network. So I located the camera near my dog's sleeping house where he stays so I can see him. So I just go to the IP address of my MotionEye server and let's see how it looks. Yeah, he's inside sleeping. You can see the quality of the camera, it's kind of red colored. Quality is okay for the price, I guess. The only issues I had with the camera is that I can't make the infrared infrared lights work in low light condition. I don't. I need to understand why they don't work. Seems like they connected as they should. So I need to troubleshoot that. Anyway, it's a okay camera for the price. The case looks nice. Everything is well protected. 
like I said I wish there was some kind of mounting or anything but it's pretty much okay so thank you for joining me for another video if you like the video press the like button subscribe to our channel to see future videos also let us know what you think in the comment section below and bye bye see you soon